good afternoon, and welcome to our sixth annual National Baseball Hall of Fame Awards presentation. This afternoon, we pay tribute to the cultural side of baseball. We will honor Graham McNamee, a broadcaster who brought the World Series into living rooms during the Roaring Twenties and the 1930s. We will also honor Dan Shaughnessy, whose insightful columns and unsurpassed reporting have given baseball fans in Baltimore and then in Boston a deeper insight not only into the game, but into the game's greatest stars. This afternoon, we will also reflect upon the 15th anniversary of the horrific attacks of 9-11 and the role that baseball played in the healing process for this entire country in their aftermath. As our country rebounded from those terrible days, it was baseball that provided a beacon of light and a symbol of hope. New York City Fire Department Battalion Chief Vin Mavaro is here this afternoon to share his story of 9-11 and baseball. <coughs> so let's now begin with the presenting of our Ford C. Frick Award. Until the 1920s, fans learned about baseball by either attending games or reading about our national pastime in newspapers and or periodicals. With the advent of radio, fans had a new medium to follow the game. Broadcasters could recreate the game moments after the action occurred, and the new concept of following the game by listening instead of reading became a reality. Suddenly, families could join together, gather in their living rooms, and turn on the radio and listen to a great game. Graham Magnamy was the first broadcaster to connect fans to the game as it unfolded on the field and was the voice of the World Series baseball in the 1920s and the 1930s. Today, we honor his legacy. And I would like to call your attention to the video monitor for a short presentation about our 2016 Ford C. Frick Award winner, Graham McNamee. 